My name is Elizabeth Sutton. I am one of the head decorators here at Amanda Oakleaf Cakes. I really enjoy uh, working here and being a cake decorator and more specifically um, cupcake decorator. You can come visit us at our storefront. It's at 1 Pauline Street in Winthrop, Massachusetts. And you can also visit our website at oakleafcakes.com. And today I'm going to be talking to you about cupcake decorating. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make vanilla Italian meringue buttercream. To start that, we are going to take a quarter cup of water and pour it into the boiler along with one and one fourth cup of sugar. It seems like a lot of sugar, but believe me, it's enough. So to measure the temperature of the sugar water, we're going to use a candy thermometer and we want that to get up to about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Just watch it, it takes a little while. When the sugar starts to bubble and get thick, that's probably a good time to check it because it should be about 250 at that point. Now while that's going on, you want to pour eight large egg whites, and it comes out to about a cup, into your stand mixer, along with one teaspoon of cream of tartar. The cream of tartar helps to stabilize the egg whites, helps them whip up really nice. So you want to let that go until soft peaks form. Now that soft peaks have formed in the egg whites, we're going to add a third cup of sugar. I usually keep it uh, separate next to the bowl so that I don't forget because it's really easy to forget to add it. It sweetens the meringue, so it makes it, you know, taste a lot better. While that's going on, you want to check your syrup. So now that our syrup has reached 250 degrees Fahrenheit, we're going to turn our stand mixer down to very slow because you don't want this to splash up at you. And you're going to pour it in, making careful not to hit the bowl or the whisk or else the sugar will harden instantly and then you will get lumps of sugar syrup in your frosting. You want to let everything mix in and then turn your syrup back up to a medium high level. Okay, so the bowl feels about room temperature. It's been about seven minutes and now it's time to add the butter. So you want to turn it back up to a low speed. For this, we're going to be using six sticks or a pound and a half of butter. And you want to add the butter in slow increments, about two tablespoons at a time. You want the butter to be soft but not melted. So once you've added all the butter, you want to turn the meringue back up to a pretty high speed. You want to let everything incorporate, about two minutes. Alright, so once your mixture looks light and fluffy, you want to take the last step, which would be to add a tablespoon of vanilla extract. We use the real stuff. I wouldn't recommend using imitation vanilla extract unless it's a necessity. And then you're going to turn it back on to incorporate. And once that's done, that's it. That's how you make Italian meringue buttercream.